That's a great question. And, and it's really, there's the art and the science of worksite health promotion and wellness. And I'll give you a couple examples. I think that if you and I were to go to an organization here in Michigan, um, and I'll pick a tough manufacturing environment, mostly male employees, the average age is 50. If we let off with a mindfulness program or yoga, yeah. some Snickers and maybe a question, you have a lighter, I want to smoke here in my break. But if you think about their needs and interests and really position all the goodness that we provide in wellness in a way that answers the question, what's in it for me, we might get interested in engagement. And an, ex an example, again, I referenced I'm based in Michigan and, you know, in the fall, uh, I'm not a deer hunter, but a lot of hourly manufacturing employees love to deer hunt. So rather than offering a diabetes prevention program, what if we called it your hunting conditioning, where we ask the question, are you fit to hunt? Are you ready to go into the woods and drag that 200 pound deer out of the woods without hurting your back? And most of the guys and gals that hunt would scratch their head and say, I'm not really ready for that. So the same kinds of things we might do in a wellness program or diabetes prevention, helping people start a walking program, help them learn how to diff, lift a deer onto a truck and move it out of the woods. Even relaxation. We talk about mindfulness or yoga. Deep breathing exercises are important to a hunter because they get very nervous before they pull that trigger. So how to prepare your venison. All these components of what we normally do in a worksite health promotion program can be converted to a deer hunting conditioning program. And if I was based in South Carolina, I would call it golf conditioning. Yeah. If I was to do a program in the middle of Iowa in the fall or the spring, I might call it gardening conditioning. So you really have to find what are the interests and the needs of your population and be very creative in positioning all this uh, worksite health and pro health promotion and wellness in a way that appeals to that population. 